We are Valentina and Jack of the House of Valentina, and when we got married 25 years ago, we did something kind of crazy. We decided that rather than settling down in the US, we would move abroad. We ended up spending about 12 years abroad, lived in Spain, Morocco, Denmark, raised our kids abroad where they only went to school in foreign languages. We renovated homes across continents, learned multiple languages, and raised our kids in all these foreign countries. Then about seven years ago, we decided to have our biggest adventure yet, and that was to move back to our hometown of Atlanta. We bought our house, a 1993 completely untouched cottage. It really needed a decorator's touch. So today we wanted to catch you up on the progress we've made so far. That way we can share the rest of the story with you. Hey guys, today I am so excited because we're gonna be giving you a tour of our home, which we have been renovating over the last seven years. We love our modern cottage and we've really had a lot of fun redoing it, but it's cold out there and windy, so come on in, let me show you everything. <laughs> All right, come on in, come on in. All right, so the first big renovation, well, maybe we better not go in order because, uh, yeah, it might take us a while. <laughs> but one of the biggest things that we have changed in here is actually the doors. These are not original to the house and we put these in, has it been 18 months now? Yeah, about a year and a half. Yeah, about a year and a half. And this really transformed our space because before it was quite dark it had the side lights and the original owners actually had blinds all over everything and so it just this allows so much light to come in it's absolutely incredible our house was built in 1993 and so when we first bought it the exterior was a gray color and the interior the interior was all beige so we've made quite a few changes we also switched out the doors here this was actually just an open uh, doorway and instead we put in these doors as at the same time that we put in these so um, then <laughs> i think this is the room that probably has the biggest impact when you when we look back on what the house looked like when we first moved in it was a wall of carpet this is the view that everybody really loves of our home when we first moved in we had wall-to-wall -wall carpet in here there was actually do you remember this there was actually a little uh island right here oh my here gosh you're right pink marble pink marble which happened to match the pink marble on the fireplace exactly exactly so this was pink marble this was all the original oak it was like a yellowish oak color and so we painted out the banister we painted out the spindles we put in these hardwood floors these are authentic reclaimed floor it's um, french French pine, yes. French yeah. pine? French oak, sorry. French oak. Yes, French oak. <laughs> there we go. We got it all figured out here. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, when we first walked in, the thing, it was funny because one of my friends was with me, or with us, and we walked in and I was like, this is the one. And she was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, maybe I should think twice about this. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> there were blinds on these windows as well. There were. Yeah, so blinds everywhere. Basically, the house felt like a prison. Like you were enclosed into... A beige prison. Yeah. And the color in here actually wasn't that bad. It was a really nice beige color, but I think it was with the carpet and everything. It just... And it just felt a bit dreary. Like sometimes paint just needs a new coat. Yeah. And it just felt really dreary. So in here, we painted out the entire thing. And this is actually Polar Bear by Bear, but... This wall is actually simply white by Benjamin Moore and you can't tell the difference. So it's <laughs> essentially the same color. So come on over here. Um, the one of my favorite things that we did in here though, which made a really big impact was painting out the fireplace. I think that painting this out and removing the pink marble that was here and putting in the black limestone, that just made such a big impact in this room. Definitely painting it out floors and then painting these you know, we we didn't have to do anything structural, which really saved us a lot of money. Yeah, it really did. We did a lot with paint. But yeah, I think centering the room around the fireplace, opening, the, taking down those blinds and getting yeah. all that light in here, it really transformed the way that this feels. And if you come over here and look back, you can kind of see how 
We balanced it out with the gorgeous bookcases. We actually still have the original fan in here, which is kind of funny. Because when the painter was here painting the walls, I was like, can you just like spray paint out the, <laughs> the, fan? the fan? Because I didn't have the money to put a light up and I hadn't found anything I wanted anyways. And I still haven't found something that I really like. So I've just been waiting. It's gonna hit eventually. <laughs> Maybe by now I'll actually have saved up enough to buy it when I find it. Let me bring it into the dining room. We'll, we'll work on, well maybe I should take you around this way. Let, let me show you sure. the bathroom. Okay, so here we've got the powder room. I don't know if you can kind of squeeze in here. This we painted dark because I like dark powder rooms. I think it's really fun. I think it's cozy. I've, I always love when you go to like a French cafe and you go to the bathroom and they have like these dark little bathrooms and I was like, I don't know why. I just love it. Switched out the countertop in here and uh, I really just love how that turned out. And I did switch out the flooring in here as well. This but, was pink. Was this pink tile as well? I believe it was. I think this was the matching pink marble. I think it matched. It's not tile, it's marble it's actually. It's marble, yeah. Which I always feel really bad about taking away, but it was really dingy and the color wasn't nice. So I really love this floor. I love the dark color. I did actually leave the ceiling, the gold. I was gold. gonna say, this is an Easter egg to the past. Yeah, so I do actually think that that is quite pretty to have that kind of gold on the top. and. A lot of people think it's awful, but I just really like it. I think it's kind of fun. I think and it is. If you, I don't know if we have any pictures of the old room, but it had a million studs put it into did. the wall. It Metal did. studs. It was painted with diamonds. Yeah. Not, not real diamonds. <laughs> the diamond not that pattern. Yeah. No, there were no real diamonds in here. Yeah, you're right. And it did have like the painted walls. And one day you were like, let's just take these down. Yeah. Oh my gosh, like 36 hours later, we're it like... It created such a mess, and there were so many of them, you had to literally go back and repatch. Like, I, I just called the painter for that one. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get it smooth enough on my own. Uh, yeah, here, let's go this way. This door leads down to the basement. There's usually stuff sitting here that's supposed to go down, just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's the honeydew spot. Yeah. <laughs> Take this to where it's supposed to go. <laughs> uh, that is completely unfinished. Stay tuned because we'll, that's the project we hope that we'll be able to tackle in this year. I've got big plans. And then here we actually have a hall closet, which you really can't see very well into. Jack put a little light in there that's motion censored and it's burned out. It burned out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, I replaced it. Um, Jack likes to sort his clothes in here because when I redid the closet, it was my intention to have given him a big closet downstairs and then it's taken us time to get the basement to decide what we wanted for it. So I was like, why don't you put your clothes up here in the meantime? I know, I'm, I know, I can hear you. <gasps> she took him out of the closet. Yes, I did. I made him put his stuff somewhere else. We've been married for 25 years. Having separate closets, if that can save your marriage. Yeah, exactly. Not a bad thing. Okay, this is the laundry room. And when we originally moved in, it was white. It had one little cabinet and a very gross sink there. And I decided to paint it out in this really dark color. I'll have to leave the colors for you. I always have to look them up. I can't remember. Because I've literally tried every black or gray color from every company. So originally I put some artwork up. I painted the ceiling out in the stripes. I put in a chandelier. I put in the mirror. I put in this really fun little sink. And then, oh, and also the tile. Yeah. And now I hate it. <laughs> Love the color. I like having the tone on tone with the washing and washer and dryer, but it does not work to not have storage in here. It's so absurd to not have storage. So uh, we actually thought that we were about to pull the bandaid off on that one and had almost put down our deposit to go ahead and have like this done. And then they just told me that I can't have the combination that I want of the color and the cabinet. And so I'm like, <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. So so now we're kind of back to the drawing board. I'm not really sure what we're going to do, but uh, it will get done this year. We're going to just put some new cabinets in. The sink has never been used, and this like is the never. only electrical that we have in here. So we're going to take the sink out, put cabinets in here, uh, maybe a little pull-out hamper, and then uh, put this guy 
maybe in the closet and I've got to put electrical in there. It's just always something. There's a lot of When electrical. you're renovating your home. Yeah. It's like the door handles here are switched out and then like half, I don't even know if the bedrooms are done upstairs. So everybody wants to know where the, where the mirror went from over the fireplace. The mirror is here because I've already ordered another one to go over the fireplace that will be a little bit bigger. All right, so I already told you guys that- By the way, I love your jacket. Switch, huh? <laughs> I love your blazer. Oh, thank you. It's so cute. <laughs> thank you. I love it. <laughs> so we told you we put the doors in. The funny thing is that I've been using this as an office. And so especially during the lockdown and all that stuff, I was always working from home but then the kids were home <laughs> during the day. So I put those doors up and these were closed. These were closed for a few years. Years. Like they literally were not open. They stay closed. I put in this really gorgeous knurled handle in here. This, this is amazing. by a company called Buster and Punch. And uh, yeah, this was supposed to be an office. Well, now that the kids are back in school, uh, I don't need to have the doors shut. And I figured out that we actually spent more time in here as a family if there was a table. So I just recently put in a dining table. These chairs are so comfortable to sit in. Oh, it's they're amazing. amazing. Yeah, we love the space. Originally, this was set as a dining room. And I didn't have too many complaints about it other than the fact that it had carpet in here. It had carpet and it had uh, the trim was the bottom was different color than the top. Yeah, it was all beige, which I, I really didn't mind the color. The color was actually quite pretty. It just wasn't the color I wanted at the time. Yeah. And then the chandelier is a point of contention for us because the chandelier that was original was beautiful, but it didn't fit. Like it just didn't fit our style. It seemed like it wasn't quite big enough to be brought up yeah, I mean, the it's way a that this one big is. Big space up there. And especially if we were using it as an office. So it's currently hanging from a stud downstairs. But it's there in case we want it. I know, it smells really good in here. We've it smells the, so good in here. We've got the uh, candlefish candle going in here. Oh, we didn't like the, we didn't like these. Do we make any other changes in here? Um, actually, this is the room that It's probably I think, the least touched. Yeah, I really think so. But now we can open the doors again. And our 15 year old's obsessed with having them open because the microwave is hiding behind here and he likes, he loves the microwave. So that's why it's still here. <laughs> but we redid the kitchen and we really wanted this to feel like it was plucked out of Copenhagen. So if you've ever been to Scandinavia, then you will know it feels just like it. Why don't you stand from over here? You can kind of show them. So I was in here actually uh, arranging my little flowers. I'm gonna put these into the, into the bedroom. I've got these little faux hydrangeas and I had some little, I don't even know what these are. If they're maybe blackberry? They're all faux, but I've got the arrangement here that I've been working on. You can see I arranged the faux flowers just like you would some real ones. So we'll take those back into the, into the bedroom in a minute. But the original kitchen was white. It was cottagey and it was all cabinets. And I just hated how closed in and dark it felt. And so the only reason, the only way I was willing to buy this house was if we made the commitment that we would put windows in. <laughs> so everything that happened in here was based off of we needed to have windows. And we could only get these small windows in here. That's all that would fit because the bay really isn't that big. And everybody always asks us why we didn't open out this wall. We've even asked ourselves that recently. We're like, why didn't we just take down the wall? Because, and then, and then when everybody was here at Christmas, it was like, because. Because it feels so cozy and intimate. And when we took down all the cabinets, everybody was like, what, where are you gonna put your stuff? Well, we put them into these really big towers that go, oh, you can see my water cup is in here. <laughs> That's not normally in here. Jack's hiding it from you guys. <laughs> I had to look at it. But we have these huge towers that store everything in them. And yeah. so, uh, yeah, we ended up actually with more storage, even though that we took the upper cabinets down. And then of course we did the flat fronts, we did the metal handles in here and moved the ovens from being a double oven. This didn't end up being the best thing. 
I still love this oven for sure. It's a one and a half. And honestly, it just doesn't fit that much in there. So I'm like, it was a little bit of a sacrifice, but it just looks so much better <laughs> to have it every year with the range and then to have the hood and the lights. These are from a company called Gooby. And so, yeah, it definitely feels more Scandinavian in here. And this room actually had hardwood floors in it, but it was the, this and the breakfast room were the only parts of the house that had hardwood floors. So we were like, it feels so wasteful to get rid of it, but... And they were damaged. They were. Like they and had had a water leak at some point, so yeah. they bowed up in a few spaces and... And in order to put in... We actually kept the footprint of the kitchen, yeah. but it still wasn't quite exactly the same. And so it wasn't It wasn't worth trying to keep them to no. us. And we've got the breakfast room here. Not that much has changed other than just simply decorating and putting in a different light. Again, it was some other weird chandelier. We just took that one down pretty quickly. The view into the living room from here is just amazing. So you can be sitting at the breakfast table and have the fireplace there, which is, you know, if you're not gonna have a fireplace in your breakfast room, having a view of it is the next best thing. And then in the sunroom, this actually had carpet in it and the original owners, well, the owners previous, they had it like really stuffed full of like antique kind of furniture and it felt really small and cramped and i think they had shelves it's shelving above. all above yeah yeah i've been thinking about maybe putting some artwork up there now that we've got the curtains up and originally we just took all the blinds down took down all of the um the shelves and everything and just opened it up but now we kind of painted this black color and it makes it feel kind of cozy. So we've got this with the sectional sofa. This is for the kids. This was the purchase that we made for the room so that everybody would have somewhere to hang out and watch movies during the lockdowns. So we figured we're gonna be inside a lot, not gonna have a lot of places to go. So this was in stock at West Elm and I just added a cart and <laughs> sight unseen and just ordered it and had it shipped the next week. And we ended up loving it. So we hang out a lot here, we've got the coffee table and then we've got the TV stand and the frame TV here. So it does at least for me as a designer look a little bit more like a picture and I, it's a room that we use almost every day so uh, i think the windows in here are just absolutely gorgeous and you can kind of look out and you can see how this sits on the garden the way that it's built the house it sits on right on the deck and then right show them out the other way you've got landon's uh, soccer net out there he's been practicing soccer and loves it but when we first moved in, the yard was a mud pit. It was just a disaster, but I saw the potential because I love the fact that you sit in the garden and you really feel that sense of nature in this room. And so it's just gorgeous, but we're still planning on doing some pretty big changes, hopefully, hopefully this year to the outside. So we'll have to maybe include that in a different video. Maybe we'll do like a whole garden tour. Let us know if that interests you. Um, yeah, but let's walk this way. We've got original door still. That's still on the list of things to do. And you can kind of see how it just, how you're like literally right here on the garden. I love this little basket full of pine cones. Isn't that just so fun? Some of those I ordered the really, really big ones, but most of them were actually from the pine tree in our yard. So we just started gathering them all up. There's always a project when you buy a home that's a fixer because they haven't been taking care of things, right? Here, come back here. So I love this house because it's got this little hallway that leads back into here. This is something we just painted out. And then back into the bedroom. The irony is, is that it was actually dark beige before. Mm -hmm. And then I painted it black for a while. And now I've painted it back to a really pale cream color. And it's just so warm and inviting in here. We have the original windows still, but we did paint out the door at least for the moment and put up a little blind, like, you know, the little shade up there, the Roman shade. But I think that, what, what do you, oh, and the light. I would say that the light's probably a big change in yeah, here. Yeah, pretty massive. I think switching out the floors made a really big difference. Well, and this was a painted tray ceiling when we got it. So it was like yes. the multiple different colors going on thing. So yeah. getting rid of that and kind of making it uniform all yeah, the way from the floor up. Yeah, color drenching the room where trim, doors, ceiling everything is one color just helps it to feel really cozy and inviting so i love that effect 
We also actually put the little lights up here. I thought I turned them on. I think I must have just accidentally turned them off this morning. Instead of lowering them, they're so nice because I've got them on a little switch where I can um, lower the light on them. So I do think that putting up the lighting on the walls, going with a little bit more modern decor, we're still playing around, we're post holidays. And so we were actually, we actually ordered a tree to go here and then it arrived and it looked terrible. So it looked like a stick with four limbs. It, it actually did. I like think it that like, it was actually about the size of these. It like the, <laughs> I accidentally ordered it from the Charlie Brown Christmas tree company. Yeah. Cause that's about what it looked like. It did. It did. It was really sad. Yeah. So as far as like structural changes, we didn't make that many big changes to the, we didn't make any changes to the structure of the mm -hmm. room. We really just painted it out and put in the flooring and then just completely redecorated. But I do think that putting in the big light, I think that makes it. That big was a big difference. difference. This is one that I actually found off of Restoration. No, it looks like Restoration Hardware, but actually it's off of Amazon. And like we've switched out the electrical in this room, but then the painter needs to come back and fix this little spot. But I think switching out the lighting and the outlets and the electrical is all the stuff that well, knobs we, yeah like so it's many stuff that we didn't really think through when we moved in because we were so used to living in europe and those were things that you always kept in europe because they were original to the house we lived in a home that was from the 1850s and we thought that was so cool and then we got here and we we're like so the electrical doesn't hold up and we actually have to switch it so there were just some things that you know we had to learn as we went along well 1850s electrical outlets are a lot more charming than 1990s electrical outlets that, that is true that, <laughs> that is have been true. painted over the like 60 knobs, times yeah doorknobs and that are original to a home like that yeah gorgeous but the ones in here they were all brass and not that cute so yeah, yeah. uh the first renovation because when, when you guys walked in the door i said we can't start with by order because it'll take us forever. But the reason why is that the first thing we did actually was the bathroom. That was the very first renovation. Very we did first. Because the shower pan had it, it was leaking, and we knew that we weren't going to be able. It wasn't going to be able to hold up for us to do the floors or some some other fun project. So, and there's one other big reason that we redid the bathroom immediately. Yeah. Immediately. So not only was the bedroom carpeted, but so was the bathroom. The, yeah. <laughs> wall to wall carpet. You step out of yes. the shower onto carpet. It was really You get out of the tub into carpet. And the closet was carpeted. Everything was carpeted. And they had it wallpapered in like red diamond wallpaper. Oh we had the huge tub. Jacuzzi tub. Do you remember the big jacuzzi tub that was sitting over here and... Uh, we do have the original stained glass. I have mixed feelings about that because in a sense, I like the idea of it. I just don't like this one. Yeah. So that was in the, <laughs> that was in the window quotes. <laughs> yeah, out. exactly. Uh, but yeah, so we didn't have a chandelier. We didn't have the walls painted or oh, any of those piece things. Fell off. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's always something. There's always something. There's always something. The doors weren't painted. They were all white and uh, had the original vanities as well and the original shower. And yeah, it was just tired <laughs> It was really tired. It was it was just so dingy and creepy and not a lot of fun to be No, in, like actually. first time we turned the jacuzzi tub on it shot dirt out at us Yeah, it was bad. Like it was bad. It was bad. I tried everything to clean it and was, you just once they're to that level the mold and mildew and the junk that's in there you you don't want to bathe in it after no that. it's a natural way to exfoliate though no baby <laughs> no. so i made a really bold choice in this bathroom and i some days i'm like did i make the right choice originally there was a vanity over here with the sink and the light and everything and instead I decided it would be better to be used as storage and to have a TV in here. Now the room is so big that we have space also for <laughs> a table down the center. Um, but let's mention the fact too, we kind of glossed over it. What did we put in instead of the carpet? The funny thing is, is that we actually put in a white marble. And if you're not paying attention, it almost is the same color that the carpet was. <laughs> Yeah, about the same color. So it's not like like you see it so much in photos, but when you're in it, you feel the difference because yeah. this marble is just gorgeous and it's just aged really well and it has the feeling 
of limestone. And that's what I really like is that kind of country. I want it to feel a little bit like a French chateau and have that sort of like French feeling. And I like how in those French chateaus, the bathrooms a lot of times were attached to the rooms. And so I wanted it to feel more like a living bathroom rather than just somewhere you come to put makeup on and to take a shower. So that's why I set it up like this. I didn't switch out the shower at all. We could have technically have tried to expand it, but there really just isn't a lot of room. I'll show you that in just a minute, but I've debated whether I should have just gutted everything, moved the walls and done all that, but we just didn't have the money to even consider anything like that at the time. No, we didn't. We barely had the money to even get this done. So in the end, I, I don't regret it. I do love the tub. I think the call foot tub that we replaced the other one with is quite possibly one of the best things we've done in the entire house. It's cast iron. It did cost quite a lot of money, um, but it is just wonderful. It's, you, yeah, you love this tub. I love the tub. The other thing we did is that we splurged a bit on the vanity. This one came from Restoration Hardware and uh, you know, I loved this French feeling. I wanted it to feel like we were in like a little chateau or something with the faucet and everything. And so I, I like to blend the new and the old together. And so I, I've ended up loving it actually. So kind of funny. <laughs> this leads back into the closet. When we originally moved in the closet, was just white and all it had was the wire shelving on it and now <laughs> i saved up for a while for this one <laughs> we painted it out in the middle in a dark gray color and made do with that wire shelving so i could save up for a long time and basically i gave myself the dream closet <laughs> Yeah, you really did. It makes it fun to me. I love getting dressed. I think it's so fun to... I've got this extra rack sitting here for... What I'll do is I'll pull out things that I'm wearing this week and like rediscovering this one with the little gold buttons on it. And I just think it's so much fun to get dressed and having a space that inspires you to me is everything. So come back in here. I'll kind of show them. I put in a whole bunch of drawers so that I could store a lot of items like my, the watch, oh, <laughs> the watches are in here. I was able to get in the little hamper here, the little bass mm -hmm. wear, um, hamper. I got shelves here where I'm able to store all my sweaters. And then up above, I've got bags and beautiful boxes that I can't bear to just get rid of that are from like Dior. And then up above, we've got like secondary storage, like non, like, off-season stuff so right now it's full of like bathing suits because <laughs> it's winter but um i love coming in here i really love coming in here i think it's so beautiful this and was I... definitely one of the biggest transformations because yeah. this room was honestly it was sad it there was, was one light that worked yeah i don't think you guys can see it as well oh, i don't even have the secondary light on watch this yeah yeah so it does actually have <laughs> extra lighting yeah i know i tend to keep it dimmed but I mean, you went from sexy. one from one light and <laughs> that wire. one light was not sexy. These lights being on a dimmer. No, it was like seedy in here before. You're <laughs> like, oh, God. yeah. So yeah, but it is really nice, and um, I really enjoy it. And I think switching out the floor in here made oh, a yeah. big difference. I think switching out the light switches as well. And I'm in the process of uh, creating an art wall here. I just got. We've been cleaning out the basement. And I found all these photos down there and I was like, why are these downstairs? I've got to find somewhere to put them into the house. So we found a spot. <laughs> and when I walked in this morning, I was like, oh, I love no, this. No, I absolutely love it. I love this. And then behind the door, we were actually able to create this extra little space. So I'm working on this too, because I'm and now I'm like, okay, I want all my photos back. I've got the ones of the boys when they were playing soccer in Copenhagen. And then we've got Haley blowing bubbles. This is one of our homes in Africa when she was two. It's so cute. I just love it. Um, visiting New York. Uh, yeah. So um, our house is... Uh, 
it just represents the places that we've been. I think in a way this reminds me of being in like the Dior shops and that feeling of France. And then you've got the feeling of like the French Chateau through the bathroom. And then the kitchen has a little nod to Copenhagen. And I think that for me, here, let's go back out in the living room. Come on, come on. <laughs> If you've seen our main home channel, you've seen that we will walk you through each of the rooms and do home tours. Uh, we're hoping here on this channel we'll be able to share a lot more of the renovations that we're doing, the projects that we're working on, uh, what we're cooking and what we're making and all that kind of stuff. So definitely hit subscribe if you haven't already. This is the uh, House of Valentina Living channel. And we're gonna just have a lot more that we're gonna be sharing with you. We wanna take you on a tour of the basement and share with you the upcoming projects. We wanna take you out to the garden and show you what we're gonna be doing there. And I think there's always just so much life in it that we wanted to be able to share that with you. So it's been fun watching this. Oh, we haven't even gone upstairs. So we'll save that for another day as well if you'd like to see the kids' bedrooms. That's what's upstairs. That's, so that's all that's upstairs actually is the kids' bedrooms. So let us know in the comments if you'd like to see that as well. But I think it's been, it's been nice for us to look back. It's been right at seven years since we moved in. And it's been really fun for us to look back and think about how much the house has transformed and taking a moment to appreciate that before we dive into more big projects. <laughs> And I think when you take it this far, you think, should we just move and start over? And we've thought about it. Like, are we ready just to take on a different project? And we're like, no, nope. we just really love this house still. I think that's that sign, that feeling of home. We're definitely centered here. So I um, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and you want to stick around. We hope you will. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. I need to hunt down my coffee. Coffee time. All right. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.